everyone, this is Payal Sharma, Cluster Manager, Trinity Consultants. Welcome back to our channel, Trinity Consultant. As we got so many queries and positive responses on our previous video where we talked about the European work permits. And today, again, I'm here to talk about the European work permits for countries called Lithuania, Croatia, Serbia, Slovakia, and Portugal. So starting from the country called Slovakia. Slovakia is a republic country in whole Central Europe. If we talk about the several types of work permit, the number one work permit type is the single residence and the work permit which is issued upon the presence of a signed employment contract with a Slovakia employer. The permit is granted for a maximum period of two years and is not transferable to other employer. The other type of work permit that is temporary resident which having the purpose of employment which is granted for a maximum period of two years and it can be extended to. What are the documents required in submission of work permit for Slovakia? The specific documentation requirement for a work permit include a completed application form, a valid passport, an employment contract and documents supporting the applicant's professional and educational qualifications. For a work visa, the necessary documents usually consist of a completed application form, a valid passport, two recent photographs, proof of sufficient financial means, proof of travel and medical travel insurance. All documents must be in Slovak language and official documents issued abroad must be certified with an apostille stamp or legalized. So secondly, we talk about country called Croatia. Croatia is a developed country with high income economy and it is highly, highly ranked in Human Development Index. And it is actually, actually based for so many occupations and the construction workers, which are highly, highly, highly in demand in Croatia. In Croatia, there are several types of work permits. These include Croatia work permit plus resident permit. It required for immigrants from countries outside the European Union. Second, Croatia work registration certificate. It is available for consultants, artists and writers. These permits are typically valid for 12 months and can be renewed. Additionally, there is an option to obtain a blue card for temporary residence in any of the 25 European countries for two years. Now we talk about country called Serbia. Serbia is the country that is richest in beautiful landscape and have a very beautiful history and the most exciting thing about serbia that it gonna be the part of shenigan zone very soon so we talk about the serbia now there are two major types of work permits the personal work permit and the simple work permit the personal work permit is issued to foreigners with permanent residence in refugee status or serbian family on the other hand the simple work permit is for foreigners employed by a company in Serbia to fill specific position based on labor market conditions, restricting them to work only for the employer who sponsored their permit. These distinctions cater to different categories of foreign workers in Serbia, ensuring legal compliance and facilitating employment opportunities within the country. Now we talk about Lithuania. Lithuania is the northeastern country in Europe and is the most southern part and the largest among all Baltic three states. What are the several types of work permits in Lithuania? The most common type that include temporary work permit. This permit is valid for up to one year and is intended for foreign nationals who will be working in Lithuania for a short period. Resident work permit. This permit is valid for three years and can be renewed for additional three year periods. It is attendant for foreign nationals who will be employed in a specific position for a specific employer in Lithuania. The third one is non-resident work permit. This permit is valid for up to one year and is intended for foreign nationals who will be working in Lithuania on a temporary basis, such as consultants or experts. 
The work permit application process involves submitting necessary documents such as proof of qualifications, personal identifying information and a letter of mediation from the employer to the Lithuanian Labour Exchange. After obtaining the work permit, the employee applies for a national visa, providing an application form, passport, passport photo, letter of mediation, work permit, proof of sufficient funds and health insurance. The process of obtaining a work permit typically takes seven business days and the national visa processing time is approximately 15 working days. Now, lastly, we talk about the country called Portugal. Portugal is the most southern European country and it is located in Atlantic Ocean. There are several types of work permits and work visas available in Portugal, including the Portugal Skill Worker Visa, the Highly Qualified Worker Visa and the Blue Card Visa. These visas have specific requirements related to the nature of the job, experience and qualification. For example, the Highly Qualified Worker Visa requires a three-year degree or a five-year of professional experience and a gross salary of at least 1.5 times the national average gross salary. Now we talk about the documentation process. This work permit application process requires several documents including a valid passport, passport side photos, proof of address in the country of origin, a police clearance certificate, proof of address in Portugal, proof of means of substance, a CV, a legalized and translated degree, a flight reservation, valid international travel insurance and the visa fee. After arriving in Portugal, the employee must apply for a resident permit which is required to work legally in the country. So this is all about European work permits for all these countries. As I told you in our previous video, we got so many questions and queries that how we can apply work permit. What are the occupation demands in all these countries? What are the proof of funds required? Is education qualification criteria is required or not? When PCC is required? So all these questions, we are here to assist you. You can pin WhatsApp on the given numbers below or you can come to our offices in Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Sharjah. We have other branches in Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain and Oman. You can do the web conferencing as well so that you will get your all queries sorted. So till the time, stay with us and subscribe our channel. Take care. Goodbye.